Chicago <laughs> It is. Beach. We are here in Chicago, Illinois. We're here for Star Wars Celebration. Day one. It's preview night. It opens at 1. It's about 11 o'clock. We are... There's a huge line that's been there all morning. We're not in that line. We're going to show up a little bit after opening, try to avoid the initial sweep of people. And instead, we're going to spend our time at Timothy O'Toole's Pub, which is a... Um, it's a local pub. It's been on Man vs. Food. And on top of that, they have a special Star Wars celebration menu all weekend. So we're going to go check it out. See? Man vs. Food. 48 beers on tap. 48 beers on tap. Ooh, going down. That's great. This place is huge. Here is the special Star Wars menu. Um, they have beers kind of named after Star Wars things. Vanilla Death, Sir Crusher, Space Station Pints, um, all sorts of different kinds of drinks, lightsabers, Vaderita, E-Walking on Sunshine, which is a burger, <laughs> That's cute. BB-8 My Other Taco, Wampanator, Admiral Snack Bar, Gamorrean Guard. <laughs> That's yes, great. come here all weekend. <laughs> if you're watching this before April 14th, come check it out. Well, we'll let you know how the food is. Then you come check it out. <laughs> While we wait for our food, um, I want you guys to know that, um, yes, we have media passes for Star Wars Celebration this year. However, we had already purchased our passes, and I was kind of concerned about lotteries and panel systems and things like that. So we have both media passes and we have purchase passes. So. Just full disclosure here. Here it is. I got the Wampanator, which is Swiss cheese, bacon, fried egg. Normally has mushrooms, but no one likes mushrooms, right? Yes. Yeah. No mushrooms. I got 86 of the mushrooms. Comes with fries. Looks delicious. Jen got a salad. <laughs> looks She's yummy. the healthy one. Yeah. Yes. No. The line to get in. All right, folks, we are heading in to Star Wars Celebration. Here's one of the security checkpoints. This is not the main entrance. There are connecting hotels and other uh, buildings in the McCormick Place that have um, pathways directly in. And here we are, Star Wars Celebration. Over there is the exhibit hall, what we couldn't show you yesterday but we're gonna show you all of it today. Um, this line that we're walking by is for the show store, I believe. So all these folks are in line to get into the show store because we can pretty much just walk right into the exhibit hall right now. This is what they were setting up yesterday. Under there, episode nine. It'll probably be revealed after tomorrow's panel. Check it out, episode eight, seven, six, five, four, Rogue One, Star Wars Rebels, Han Solo, Episode 3, Clone Wars, Episode 2, and at the end, Episode 1. I mean, I read them in reverse order, but wow, what an amazing piece of art. This is the crazy line for the Star Wars Celebration Show Store. Wow, people have been lined up since before 8 o'clock this morning. It is just a super long line. There's a queue in there. Um, they're going to be here all day to get into that show store. Just showed you that crazy long line. And here's where it leads. Here is the queue for the show store. Um, you can see there's another queue inside here. And the show store is behind those black walls. Wow. Amazon is here with daily exclusive products at the treasure truck. Every day they're going to have something special. Today it's an R2-D2 mini stir popcorn popper. You can see it behind that guy over there. He just blocked it. There it is. Welcome to Star Wars Celebration. You can see the Funko booth over there. Um, over there is Rancho Obi-Wan. Right in 
front of us is the Fantasy Flight Games or Diamond Select Toys booth. There's a huge line here. They must have some exclusive merchandise. Oh yeah, I believe that this guy, uh, the Darth Maul, is exclusive to Star Wars Celebration. Boots on boots on boots. Here is the Fantasy Flight Games booth. They have an exclusive Darth Vader um, that we showed you on IOMGeek.com. And so there's a line to get into that Fantasy Flight Games booth. But first up, we're going to check out the Disneyland booth. So while we're in line for the uh, Galaxy's Edge thing, I wanted to tell you guys that we did really enjoy our food. I think some dude just burped behind me. Um, really enjoyed our food at Timothy O'Toole's. Yeah, very good. Yeah, that place was really good. Now, I mean, are the dishes really Star Wars themed or do they just have fun names? They just have fun names, but it's still cool. And so this is the queue behind me for the Galaxy's Edge um, experience. We're about to show you guys it. It's some photo ops. Um, yeah, it's moving pretty quickly regardless. The lines, it, it's disconcerting to see a line this long for a booth, but at the same time, it moves very quickly and uh, we'll probably be in it in just a minute. Some of the Imagineers who worked on Star Wars Galaxy's Edge will be here throughout the weekend, Friday and Saturday. And it starts with this big photo op in front of the Millennium Falcon. It looks like there's a ride vehicle from the um, Escape from the First Order ride that's coming up. Or Rise of the First Order. One of those. I'm, I'm putting it down here, whatever the real name of the ride is. But there's the ride vehicle. Here's a better look at the vehicle from Rise of the Resistance. That's the name of the ride coming to both Disneyland and Walt Disney World, Galaxy's Edge. It's got a resistance droid in the front. Over here, they've got some screens showing some scenes from the new rides, some uh, touch screens so you can plan your Disneyland vacation, plan your adventure. Rise. Pretty cool. I don't know that I've seen this footage before. But there you go. That ride. Bam. They've got a bunch of concept art here from Batu and the outpost that you're going to be walking through. And up ahead, we're about to look at some merchandise that's going to be for sale is a look at some of the merchandise in person that worked well in person for us but on video for you that you're going to see at galaxy's edge now everything that they produced like you can see none of it really says galaxy's edge it's all designed like you're in the universe so you've got a bunch of first order stuff on this side and resistance stuff on the other side
one of my favorite booths at Star Wars Celebration always is the stance booth. I love the socks that they put out at, at the conventions. They're really comfy. In fact, I was wearing these yesterday. Some fun exclusive stuff. In fact, the ones that they're releasing today are the concept art socks that you can see over there. They also have briefs or boxer briefs. Here's a better look at the concept art socks that are coming out here. They've come here. Yeah. So they're based on the Ralph McQuarrie concept art that we've all probably seen. This Vader one's actually pretty sweet. Old school 3PO. 20 bucks a piece. 20 bucks a piece. Here is the Funko booth with all the exclusives that are available here at the show. Bunch of fun stuff. Pezzes, pops, book bags from Loungefly. Here is a look at the Celebration exclusive Wilson football from The Phantom Menace. Celebrating the anniversary. Here is the Geeky Tiki's booth. That's the stuff that they released today. Look at that awesome Millennium Falcon and the Rancor with Luke Skywalker. And how about this awesome Han Solo and Carbonite Tiki mug? There's a bit of a line to get into this booth. Look at the line for the Hallmark exclusive. Hallmark is releasing some very cool exclusives here at Star Wars Celebration, including these Ralph McQuarrie inspired concept art R2D2 T3PO, Darth Maul salt and pepper shaker that separates in the middle. <laughs> it's a Soka Tano pen. Some of these little guys. Check out this cool exhibit 20 years of Lego Star Wars, starting with the Phantom Menace. Licensing agreement starting in 1998. Right across from the Lego booth is the Hasbro booth. They usually have a bunch of cool stuff on display here. Over here, there's a look at the Celebration exclusive figures at the top. You can see Darth Maul and Obi-Wan Kenobi kind of, uh, Black Series figures, but designs like the Episode 1 toys when they first came out in 99. Very cool designs. I like the, uh, the new Black Series figures over here, too. Have these been out before? I don't know that I've seen Black Series Ezra and Chopper and Triple Zero and BT. Everything is celebrating 20th anniversary of Star Wars The Phantom Menace. That's why you see so much of it at this year's celebration. Some cool new figures. Over here, look at this Darth Vader. Wow. Hyper real Darth Vader figure. Very impressive. To look at the Star Wars Resistance figures now in stores. And I'm really digging the Galaxy of Adventures figures. These are really cheap but really fun packaging that you can find at Walmart. They come with comic books. Over here is the giant setup for Oculus's Vader Immortal. It doesn't look like anything's going on right now uh, because I don't think they, this will actually be set up for people to mess with until the panel, which is this weekend.
And lastly on display are the helmets of the saga. You can uh, pause, take a screenshot, and then I'll show you guys the actual helmets. So amongst all these helmets, that one right there is a screen-used Vader helmet from Return of the Jedi. Check this out, guys. It's an outer rim speeder bike, screen-used prop from the upcoming Mandalorian TV show. Here is the Star Wars exclusive Vader artifact statue from Kotobukiya. That thing is glorious. I couldn't resist, guys. I had to get the Vader statue. We'll have a separate um, swag video where I show you the stuff that I got throughout the celebration. I just, I love Rider that Vader Hall. statue. Hall. Yeah, Hall. Yeah, I, I paid for everything here. Right. <laughs> that, when you pay for it, it's a Hall, it's not Hall. swag. I'm actually kind of bummed that Electronic Arts decided to go ahead and do a Galaxy of Heroes booth instead of a booth showcasing the new Jedi Fallen Order video game. I thought they'd for sure display that. But do you guys play Galaxy of, Galaxy of Heroes? If you do, comment down below. Let me know how it is. I've never checked it out. I love the design on the Tamashi Nation's Bandai statues. These things are beautiful. Here's some awesome photographs taken of those figures I was just showing you. like that one. And how about this one right here? We are in line for the Lego boot. We won uh, the lottery to be able to purchase one of the Lego exclusives for the show. Um, so the Lego booth is right under that Lego over there. So the line goes to the wall, up the wall, around, over here, and then here where we are. It is significantly long, and it is only the people who won the lottery in this line. That is crazy. All right, peeps. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you really liked this first look at the first day of Star Wars Celebration in Chicago 2019. It's been a fun day. We've got a bunch of cool stuff. Can't wait to show you guys the haul video. Um, we've got something that I may be giving away on the channel. So there's your hint. Um, not maybe, that I'm going to be giving away. So if you're interested, make sure you hit the like and subscribe buttons down below. Hit the notification thing too so you're notified when I put up a new video. Because this weekend in a future Star Wars Celebration video, I'm going to tell you guys how you can win what's in this bag. So make sure you leave a comment down below. If you're here this weekend, say hi if you see us. Thank you guys for watching and may the force be with you.